The Scottish nationalist leader Nicola Sturgeon may not have a share of power in a Labour coalition government as she had hoped, but the election was a massive victory for her nonetheless. Some may argue her promising to support Labour may have driven English voters to the Tories, but in Scotland she reigns supreme. I think historic is one of these words that's often overused, but actually in these circumstances I'm not sure it even quite covers it. You know, the tectonic plates of Scottish politics shifted yesterday. Uh, this is a massive, massive result. We saw some swings that you know have never been seen before in the history of Westminster politics. Clearly there is an appetite for change in Scotland and there is a very, very strong desire for Scotland's voice to be heard much more loudly and that's now the job of these 56 SNP MPs that are heading to the House of Commons. Sturgeon now has a rock-solid mandate in Scotland which, for now, remains in the United Kingdom. But if Britain decides in the EU referendum to quit, it is highly likely Scotland will refuse and break away. Scottish nationalist leader Nicola Sturgeon may not have a share of power in a Labour coalition government as she had hoped, but the election was a massive victory for her nonetheless. Some may argue her promising to support Labour may have driven English voters to the Tories, but in Scotland she reigns supreme. I think historic is one of these words that's often overused, but